this is a quick walkthrough of the Lo-Fi Audio C90IR, a virtual choir made for native instruments contact 5.8 or above. Behind the scenes we have CC11 that controls the overall volume and CC1, the mod wheel, is mapped to a low pass filter. The voices have individual pan and volume controls. The volume controls are pre-mapped to CC22 to 25 and the middle two icons doesn't do anything but the first one activates and deactivates kind of uh, uh, octave thing so on the low keys you have uh, like octave up and on the high keys you have an octave down. And the drum has a special function even if you turn down all the individual volumes you still get some some like some noise coming through um, and you can turn it off by by or deactivating the drums you know now i'm playing and nothing comes through so this is tape these are the files i sent to pianobook.co.uk all the links are down below in the description and without the, the those octaves It's a bit fuller when you have everything, <laughs> when, when this is on. Uh, this is the shelf, the large um, metal shelf, it sounds like this. This is the plate. This is the drum, my favorite. It's so the same chord again. <laughs> Just like broken eggshells. Well, that's nice. All right. So everything back to normal or like kind of in a, in a mix. So here we go again. And if and if I pan mix like that and perhaps up the drum Sounds kind of Christmassy, doesn't it? Like a drunken choir, too much glühwein or eggnog or whatnot. Glug, as we call it. I like C major. Makes everything shiny. I've actually used this uh, instrument in a, in a queue that has been approved, which is always great. <laughs> uh, and it sounded, let me get all the settings right. It sounded something like, um, something like this.
oh yes, it's just C and C. <laughs> How to cram the most out of your octaves. Links to plenty of free stuff is in the description. And make sure to subscribe and ding that bell to get those notifications. Thank you so much for listening.